Hey, Herc, what do you think about the shed? He said, why is it taking so long? Well, because we have to figure out how to do things. We got to fight the weather. You know, that typical stuff. He's like, yeah, but I'm ready for my shed to be done. He is. Look Says then you could build like, you know, one maybe twice as big and then we could call it the Herc house. <laughs> is that what you're hoping for? You don't want something that big. Okay, maybe you do. <laughs> he says, I do. I, I just, I kind of want it to be down there by my goats. Yeah. Hey, guys. Welcome back to K&S. Get out. It's Hercules. <laughs> he wants it to be K&S and H. K&S and H. Oh, do we have hello. to Do we have to add the H to our channel name? Do we need to put you in the list? Because Nala's not even in that yeah, list. Yeah, Nala's honey. not in the list. The goats aren't in the list. She'll get mad about it. Oh, dude. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. Well, if you guys remember right from last time, we had snow. That was yeah. just two days ago? A couple days ago. I mean, we, we still got a little bit, but that's that's Missouri weather. And I know a lot of the country is going through this right now. It's just blowing right through, then it warms up. And then I think we're calling for it again the beginning of next week here yeah. in about four or five days. Yeah. So we have a lot to get done before the snow comes. But guys, the shed project continues. I am learning the hard way and it's been okay. Uh, had a lot of great input from you guys. But if you'll notice where my framer's at, what did I do? Yeah, that's right. I stood here and studied it long enough to figure it out. I made a pretty big mistake. Here's the truth, this is what happens. This is all a part of the learning process and I did not frame this window in right. I thought I was feeling a little too confident in it. I was like, eh, that kind of went too well. That went according to plan. I didn't <laughs> drop the wall, I didn't anything. So that's what we're gonna start today. And then I'm gonna try to get the other wall that's gonna match this one almost identically up and done. Time to square up all the corners and walls, tack them in, and we got four standing walls. This is my first frame wall construction, unlike the pole barn style that we did on the goat shelter, which is very rigid from the time you start connecting the poles. This one, it's almost hard to believe these things stand up even once you get a roof on them, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Somebody had mentioned in the last video that with this seam right here, I may need to brace these, use some kind of beam or a post or something vertically. Uh, but after a little bit of research and somebody else commenting back, I think once we get all of our OSB on the inside and outside, that that'll add that rigidity and kind of hold these two pony walls together so that we won't run into any leaning or buckling, hopefully. Perfect. Yeah. Worst case scenario, it all falls down and we start over. That's not going to happen. Well, I'm just saying it's worst. It's not going to fall down. Yeah. I mean, you can't be more disappointed than that. Right? <laughs> so That's anything, a good way to put it. It's 50 degrees, sunny today. This ain't going to stick around long, so we're going to take advantage of it. All right. Well, let's utilize the sunshine and get some work done. So I have to figure out how to cut off an inch and a half of these two. And I'd love to be able to do it without disassembling the rest of the wall. Width is where I was off because I didn't have the jack stud. And once I put the bottom jack studs in, you know, it was holding up the bottom plate, but it didn't accommodate for a jack stud above the bottom plate. As far as what I've disassembled, if I just make that cut, I should be able to reassemble with all the same lumber. I didn't have to tear anything up too bad. Oh, that's awesome. But I think if I take off that inch and a half, I should be able to just reframe it and we'll be right back where we were only with the correct window size. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, let's do it.
Okay, if you want to change the height of the window, now is the time. I don't want to change anything on you. Okay, that does make it so I can reuse these cripple studs that I had and the jack studs for the bottom half. But right now, when I walk up to the window, I'm about right here. Oh, you see, so you have to duck down? Just to see sky. But Are you okay with that? Yeah, because it leaves enough room above the header for me to get a good eight, nine inch cripple stud. Then I say leave it as it is. I'm not changing anything on you. Are you sure? <laughs> if something gets changed, it's not on me this time. <laughs> okay. Well, before I finish this out, did you steal this? Right where you left it. I didn't even touch it. So inside to inside, this should be 30. That looks like a puzzled look. I'm done framing. Not cut out for it. Well, this is the first thing you've ever framed. You have to have practice. How many times have you told me the first time I tried was I perfect and did I expect to be? Take your own advice. I don't think I've ever told you that. I think I've always said, hey, if you're gonna do something, do it right the first time or don't waste my time. That's not what you've said to me. <laughs> that might've been what I told myself. Okay, well start telling yourself the same advice you give me. How about that? These are gonna be tight tolerances. Okay. I may not even have to hammer the window in if it'll fit. Well, that's better than too loose, right? <laughs> <laughs> what we could do is, I mean, I know my opening, my rough opening is the same down here as it is up there since I've got those king studs. I could just test fit it right here before I go putting everything back together. Well, that seems like a genius idea. <sighs> test fitting. Making sure it works before you start nailing things in. I'm not giving any advice here. I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Oh no, you put it in the wrong spot. Just kidding. That gives us enough room to shim it or do whatever we gotta do to level it if we need to. All right. I think that'll work. Uh, don't tell my wife, but the shed does run backwards. It's just a hair. So I'm trying to determine because I did that with the goat shelter a little bit. And then Shannon took all of the planks and she leveled them, which is great. Except it showed off the fact that my goat shelter is not perfectly level, which is fine. Uh, and I'm hoping for the same here. I don't really care. I just trying to determine. I haven't talked to Shannon about this yet. She's grinning from ear to ear behind that camera, but do I want the window level and plumb with earth so that then the siding and the windows all go up and take care of themselves? Or do we have to lay the siding unlevel with the window? I will do it however you tell me to. <laughs> We're just going to wing it and find out. <laughs> okay, well, let me get the rest of this framed and set the window back to the side, stand up this wall. And one of these days, I'm going to get to start on that fourth wall. Sounds great. I don't know when, but probably when it snows again next. Hopefully before then. <laughs> All right. I'd, I'd love to have another wall and roof done before it snows again. Well, you better call a real carpenter or framer. I called you. Like I said, you better call a real <laughs> one. All right. If the weather holds up, we're going to make it. You can do it. Yeah. I'm going to try.
I just did all of that so we could get right back where we were with three more inches of space inside this window. And now I can put the proper jack studs from the windowsill to the header. And that's, that's what all of this was for. Complete hey. waste of time. Did you learn anything? I learned I will never mess that up again because I do not want to have to do that ever again. It's really hard to tear that down and not tear up all of your boards, waste nails. I was able to reuse some. But it's fixed now. Yeah, and I mean. we have a window spot. I, I'm very pleased with it. I would like to frame something someday with whole pieces of lumber, but in today's market and everything that's going on, we are so blessed and fortunate and very, very thankful that we've been able to do this and keep our costs down. This is huge. And I know I don't typically say these things until I'm done with the project because we still have a ways to go, but I know I'm going to be better for the experience getting to go through all of this and how to do it a little more efficiently and well just right the first time next time it's a learning process yeah all right well let me get these jack studs in we'll stand that wall back up be right where we were before we started excluding mistakes and then we'll get started on the fourth wall okay Time for the final test fit. This is exciting. You want to take any bets? I bet it's going to fit. That's my girl. Thanks for your vote of confidence, babe. Always. I think because of that, I'm, I'm just not going to put it in there. I'm just going to say, hey, my wife thinks it'll work. <laughs> That's so that he can blame me later if anything goes wrong. Uh, they know that. Check it. And we have a little bit of wiggle room to get it level. Awesome. Good work, babe. <sighs> Nailed it. All over the place. <laughs> but now we have proper support for the header that'll be above the window that'll mitigate the weight coming from the roof off the top of the window. We just basically want all the forces to go around the window. And not crush our glass, right? Not crush the glass, yeah. So that's what those king studs are for, going from plate to plate, keeping all that support span as best it can from floor to ceiling. And then that header with those jack studs underneath it over here, hold that header up, and this helps send all those forces out and down instead of just right on top of that window, as far as my understanding is concerned. Good thing you did some research on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did study civil engineering in college, so should, oh, yeah. should apply somewhere here when you're thinking of bridges that people are driving over and buildings, you know, skyscrapers. See, this honey, is just I a shit. I married you for a reason. You're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so smart. I had to reframe my 11 foot, 9 inch wall four times. Well, you know, it happens. Yeah. All right, well, let's stand this guy up and get this one out of my life. I just wanted to feel good about it. I feel good about it. Like a glove. That's the hope. Don't hit his finger. I got full trust. <laughs> He's a brave soul. I had full trust in my hammer swinging too. How's it going up here? Great, now that I have somebody that knows what they're doing. No awesome. pressure, Trevor. No, no, no. no. <laughs> and we just kind of surprised you with a couple of guests that uh, you guys didn't know were coming. Because I don't ask for help and Shannon just did this morning. It's what friends are for. It is. I These are good friends. to ask for help. So basically, I asked for help for him. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't ask for help. They just showed up. That's a joke. I knew you were coming. <laughs> These are friends of ours. This is Trevor and Amanda. So before Trevor and Amanda came, I was eight weeks in. I only had three walls. They were not nailed down besides the supports. But we, with their help, have all three of these walls actually nailed to the subfloor. Good job. With my, with my push to nail it down <laughs> to make it... Good job. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Trevor... I'm pushing for that because he wouldn't do it. Well, I was just... 
<laughs> I was, I was, every time I could see the pain in his eyes <laughs> when the, you guys talk about the wind and I was just like, oh. You knew. You I, wa knew. I wanted, but I didn't want to push. I uh, know, so. we appreciate no, it. We, I appreciate yeah. it because I've been like, hey, do we need to brace that wolf? Hey, do we need to screw that down? He's like, no, it's fine. <laughs> but I have to say, first time framing, first time doing and doing it on your own. Impressive. Yeah. Thank you. I Thank mean, you very impressive. much. You are, like I've told you guys before, you guys are doing what most can't or won't do mm -hmm. because they're scared. Yep. Yeah. It is terrifying. They don't want to learn. They don't want to yeah. learn. It's easier to just let somebody else do it. Yeah. So, but you I have to admit, <laughs> <laughs> my problem is I, I get, you know, to, to this point where I had these three walls and I've had all three of them up and I've had all three of them down again, whether I did it or the wind right. did it. And then I, I literally, metaphorically I hit a wall and I get just frustrated and I'm yep. like okay I'm doing something wrong I'm just repeating it did the same thing on the well and then Rob came down and helped finish that out and it's just like oh I was literally just yep. right there yep. so and you have to stop and walk away sometimes yeah. we find that even even there's stuff that I know how to do I get so frustrated because it's a simple little thing yep and I just have to walk away and come back and she has to tell me is there ever a mode you get in where you stay in it and you just keep going, going, going because you're just, it's just everything's working? Oh, yeah. I got to find that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll happen. <laughs> it'll happen. Okay. It'll happen. Keep doing it and eventually it'll come. It'll That's why I was, I was telling you you need to drink water or drink something because yeah. I get going and get going and forget. Yeah. And like we talked about, that you would get be headaches me. and yeah. you, get, yeah. you got a little dehydrated, you got to get some water in you. Yeah. Or your monster or whatever you got. <laughs> no. You drink water. Water, yeah. water, yeah. So Trevor and Amanda Thanks. have. Man, how many years have you guys had the shop and done woodworking things? It's and it's a tornado, so, so 2011, yeah. right after that. So 12, I think, is when we started. Okay. So uh, I've always made things, created things, you know, repurposed. Working construction is, a, is younger. These guys were always using lumber, whatever was laying around, to make tables, to make things so they could eat lunch or do whatever, or you know. Yeah. So I just started picking it up and started doing it. You see your great. vision yep. right. coming yep. to fruition. Right. You're yeah. like, all yeah. right, yeah. it was worth it. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, that, and that's what's great about um, having you guys is we're seeing it. I'm like, see, that's what I'm talking. That's They're what like, I want to oh, do. Oh, those ignorant I'm people can do no, it. No, we can no. do it. We know no. what we're doing. We're all learning no. from each other. All right, so. That's very true. Because we're getting yeah. ready to build a um, loafing, loafing shed. shed. Oh, nice. Not as structurally as sound as this. I mean, it's going to be well, like telephone poles and... That I'm we cutting need all down stuff. Shit, so yeah. it's okay. You, yeah. You, you, you yeah. Learn from Fine. I'll just perfect. push this one down. We'll build no. a loafer. <laughs> no, you just well this loafer. Because I, I actually need I need another shed. You can never have when you build say. when you build your shop. You're building. I like I told you the other night. Build it one size bigger. Yeah. Than oh, yeah. what you planned. I bet. Yeah. At least. Well, I'd like yeah. to build another shed right there, a barn right there, another shed right there until yeah. I get it right. You will never have enough. I believe that. Yeah. Because I'm already looking at a pile of stuff that needs to come in here. And I'm like, huh. Yeah. We're going to yeah. be building a couple of these. <laughs> yep. So today we, uh, we came out this morning. We had, I don't even know, 40, 50 mile an hour wind gusts. And this wall was down, even though my wife asked, like, do you think we should brace that? And I said, no, you're crazy. Uh, she was right. But. We don't need to put she that in the video. Say that again. No, I cannot. <laughs> you got to re-roll the, yeah, you got it, you, you got it. Uh, she was right, uh, she was right. So now, <laughs> Trevor and Amanda have helped. We've got all these walls up and attached to the floor. Once we get this guy done, we should have our four standing walls. Oh no, you're. That's a whole day's worth of work, gone. Call it a day, we're going home. <laughs> Thanks babe. So sorry. So now once we get all these, get this last wall up, we should be able to get everything here secure and start moving toward the roof. Awesome. Your, your roof ought to go really quick. I say things like that a lot to myself, hey, but now that you're here, today. no, Take you're, advantage. you're, right. you're, it will. So because we're going to do our best to get this wall up, get it covered, protect it from rain. Yep. And how are you going to cover it? Like this. Perfect. Maybe, maybe put a Do leg I need up. a leg in it? Like, yeah. There, there we go. go. That'll do it. That should do it. Thank you for your work. Yeah, guys. I Yeah, anytime. This is, yeah. Anytime. The fun thing, too, are the little, you know, I see a bunch of these little hacks on Instagram or whatever, but, you know, this guy has actually lived them. And so he's like, hey, if you want to try this and try that, I'm like, yeah, I do. So we're doing some cool stuff over here. Good. It's fun. Are you learning a lot? I am. Good. Don't tell Trevor, though, then he'll stop telling me. No. <laughs> he wants to hand it off. Plus, then I can help him with future projects, right? Yeah. I love it. I do, uh... 
may have you come out and put your chainsaw to work. Ooh. I'll pay for all your fuel, all oil, everything. I just need some logs cut. I would love it. Just got to cut them and drop them. That They're already be, down trees. That'd be a good day. Hey, comment down below if Trevor and Amanda would be willing to have us out. Comment down below if you guys want to see their land. If, if they're willing to share, and maybe they could put us to work and we'll take a little break from Shady Acres for a day. Yeah. Let us know. Head out to the outpost. The yeah. Outpost. Yep. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. I understand. I don't help. I don't ask for help. Yeah, no. I'll be calling them and saying, "Hey, you guys want to come help?" Yeah. Yeah, and in the interim, I will link their Instagram and Facebook down below. <laughs> Actually, Shannon will. And uh, one of these days, we'll get them on YouTube, and we'll go take a look at their land and see what their projects look like and how much cooler their buildings are and square. And no. it's square. <laughs> no. It's perfectly imperfect. That's our our building perfect. was built by someone else. <laughs> ah, there you so, go. <laughs> Amanda, would, Amanda wouldn't let me do it. Oh, we'll hear more really about that. Really on camera, you just uh, yeah, yeah. he just threw you under the bus. She can't throw any punches right now. Not only did I throw her underneath the bus, I backed up <laughs> and ran over it. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yes. I did it again. I'm glad to know there's other couples out there that uh, have as much fun as we do mm -hmm. doing this stuff. That's good. Yes. <laughs> well, guys, we love and appreciate each and every one of you. We cannot tell you thank you enough for coming along on this journey with us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. playing ring around the rosy with it. Oh, he just ran under your tarp. <laughs>